Well, the authorities here have moved very quickly to put two individuals under arrest. They were found among the survivors uh, who were brought here to Catania last night. And in fact, the survivors are, are the ones who identified these two people as being part of the crew. One of them is of Tunisian origin. He's the suspected captain of the stricken ship. He has been charged with reckless multiple homicide. Now, moving this quickly, obviously, is trying to send some kind of message that this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. Now, we know a little bit more about the journey, the ill-fated journey that happened uh, where all these people died. Uh, one is that they left at 8 a.m. from Tripoli in Libya, a very chaotic place at the moment and the source of many of these migrant ships. Also, that this boat was three levels and that hundreds of women and children were locked in the lower tiers in the hold to prevent them from going up on deck. That is the reason so many ended up dying at seas, because they... Uh, when the boat was stricken, they could not get out, and so they sank or they drowned with it. Now, we're also learning a little bit about the survivors. They uh, are apparently in great shock. They require psychological assistance. They have been moved to a holding center an hour from here uh, to begin the process of, of taking their asylum claim. Presumably, that is the reason they're here. Officials are expecting that they will claim asylum. They also, we know a little bit more about their origin, many of them from Gambia, Bangladesh, Somalia, Mali, Tunisia, Syria. It, that list really gives you a sense of the kind of desperation they were fleeing. And certainly one would imagine, imagine that one would not take the kind of risk that they had taken to get here without having something like that to escape. Nalayed, CBC News in Catania, Italy.